the Tide Hunter of Universe. Dude, nobody falls for that twice. You think you think Dota players this, will just fall for it? Well, Toby, look at this. You think people will just fall? They are all there. Toby, who's Wait gonna fall for this? It has got to be the Spirit Breaker, but he can charge himself back down again at least. The rune's gonna go to the Bounty Hunter and Chismunk charges himself off the hillside. They might even find themselves first blood. Ohio in the bottom of the river. They go for the Razor to start with. Chismunk will start with the Body Block as well. One more long range race. That'll do the job. Moo will not... The basic combo setups where you have like Sven plus Lina and at top, they're gonna get the disrupt off, but oh. the sleep happens at the same time. Really nice avalanche to come in from Black. He's got the toss of Val. Well, they're gonna throw that SF up. Moo goes for one race. Oh, he gets raise the brain sap. Is able Brilliant to kick in as the SF is actually able to get the IO down. With Chispug charging himself in, it'll end up being this combination. It's that he makes sure to zone them out with raises first. Ohio's gonna steal this double damage room, but the Omni Slash, the Nightmare's there too, so Ohio's being pushed back. A perfect spin combo. There was no time for the Urshay to react. In fact, even DJ in trouble having to stick charge himself up bottles as well. Black has no avalanche to help him out, and four heroes from Newbie. They want to keep running through here. One for the kill, and two, now they can take out the stacks because they hear in force with Fnatic being down players. They're pinging it like crazy. They want to go for this if possible. They know that this is their best opportunity to invade the jungle for free. The Earthshaker's in no real position to be able to contest this either. Mushi's going to come in and he knows that they're low on mana. Maybe this is going to be an opportunity for them, but Newbie's running away quickly and they need is actually going to maybe be caught out here. Is Black's going to try to toss Mushi forward, possibly? Oh, I think he wants to toss Ned. The problem is they need to have that stun fall, but yeah, they are going to throw Mushi in. Life Strike Array only connects on Moo, but it is able to like, enable him to get that kill. The follow-up Fisher is on the wrong side, however. Chiss Slug, is there a gap? There is one. Black's got tossed back up again, but that's why the Nightmare from Banana makes it so Banana can't keep chasing that way. But they will still catch up, Banana. There's your toss forward. You've got the ability to relocate out. What is the Spirit Breaker really going to achieve? Goodbye, Lena. Okay, that is... That's, a, that's significant, too. That's a solo for... Top lane. Nothing. Maybe they can get a revenge. Ohio, the Fissure, really good line here. And he goes into the follow-up Echo Slam. The control oh, the is just so huge, there. but the mech is still up. And we'll oh, come back in, and the charge in! It's going to be a double for Newbie! SF and Darkseid. By default. Here they come. They found Moo. The smoke actually being used by Newbie at the same time. Oh, the Fury Slam, but then the Nightmare! You will have Black arrive, so it will be a one-for-one -one trade off. It's going to be for two, but it's a little bit of time. Saved by oh, Ned and DJ. Yeah, he's not getting out of this one. It's a three-four. One, you got Ned in the run being chased down by the Darkseer, but he'll pop as well. And Black, the sole Dying survivor, teeping himself attack. back to base. Three seconds. And that just wasn't worth it. That helped the Shadow King so much when it came to the two on one lane that he was against. And this might be the opening that Fnatic needs. It could be. Quick pick over on just bugs so the spirit break. He's gonna stick charge and make him work a little bit harder for it. And meanwhile, Banana, the vac, the wall net dies so quickly. The Fiend's Grip control followed up by that brain sap. It's just so much damage. Ohio just needs to fissure and buy some space. The Blink Dagger is now up for the Earthshaker. He very quickly oh, TPs out. This. And just bug, yeah, he stops. The charge just keep going and Black Omni Slash. He doesn't get mopped up by enough by the creep wave. The relocate save, but doesn't come in time. They lose Tiny. And they're going to lose DJ as well. As newbie prepare the death ceremony. Poor Wisp. This is the most frightening experience of his life. So many support coming down, but Ohio, they prepped this trap a long time ago, and how he gets into the spin, the fiend strip is off, and Blackie needs help right now. He doesn't have it, not with the back man to a three-man wall. Blackie trying to retreat, but there's just nothing more to give. They'll lose the entire gang squad on bottom. And Ohio just wants to TP himself home, get away from this nightmare. How he's gonna find him and split it up. So how takes the creep wave off the bottom, but it's a jump in. It's the Lacuna play, but Moon, oh, he just started all of it. Ohio, he can't do anything more. Chispa could be thrown up. The Yule Step is also doing his work. But what more have you got? Nubia going underneath your tier 4 towers, almost to your fountain, and then taking out all of Fnatic. The rank hasn't gone down, and already it kind of feels like this game is over. I think at this point, uh, sure. uh, we might talk about this one a little bit later. Just bug Fisher, just get the hell out of there. Move with the BKB for the back. They may not have a choice. Even DJ be thrown away. The help from Mushi will arrive, but you've already lost your Earthshaker. Now you lose Mushi as well. The relocate save will arrive. But this is another time when DJ's gonna. Top of that would probably be your death knell. Nubia coming. 
the smoke initiation, just to get them inside the base of Fnatic. They want to get the first pick offs by getting that, they win the fight and they know it. The blink forward into the Omni side, it grabs the SD as well as the Ursa get together. Not a single ability was actually cast there by Fnatic and they've already lost their off laner. As well as that one big support hero, the one that stops initiations like that with disruption. And GG is the call. Fnatic draft. They picked to their strengths. It looked like they were able to get good defensive control of their jungle. And from there, all they had to do is weather the storm of Fnatic. And it just felt like Fnatic ran out of ideas.